Hi guys, um, just an update on where I'm at with my T72B uh, from Trumpeter. Um, so, obviously, it's built. Um, the main camera scheme is painted. Um, I've done decals, as you can see. I've detailed painted it. And I've put the gloss on and I've done the panel line um, or next is to um, do weathering and um, map varnish um, and filters and that sort of stuff um, waiting on an, another wash to come which is a tritonal one um, but yeah, it's a little bit of a nightmare for me, that's the side. Um, basically, it was the second time I had to do the camo pattern. The first time, I didn't like the way that it looked, and it had pulled the blue tack, which, blue tack method, which I used, it pulled the um, photo etch grills off, and pulled paint off the photo etch grills. Um, and it had pulled paints off this photo straps. It pulled some of the, the um, armor blocks off. In fact, it pulled like one of these little guard things that goes along here and snapped it. So I can't use that. But yeah, I got there eventually. Um, I'll just put that there for a sec. I um, obviously I've done this pattern. Um, and for any of those who are planning a build on this and maybe even doing this pattern um, uh, just a, a word about the paint but there's the paint paint for it um, I couldn't find the AK Interactive Blue Grate anywhere so I sourced um, a Vallejo one which when it came it was more of a grey than a blue so I had to add some blue to it to get it pretty close to to, um, to that blue which I think I've done quite well um, and the brown as well yeah, uh, which I went for the Tamiya red brown but when I put it down, it's more of a brown than a red, because on there it shows it quite a reddy brown, but this is all I'm going on, because as I said before, I couldn't find any pictures of the T72 with this camera scheme anywhere on the internet, I don't know if it's real, um, or they just made it up, but there are some inaccuracies with the camera scheme itself, you see there, um, at the bottom of the glasses plate it's got a green patch on the right hand side but here it's on the left hand side and here just um, next to the hatch where the gun is the, the machine gun it's all green but here it shows blue going up there so I have to sort of make a decision there. So what I did was on the front as you can see I put a bit of blue uh, a bit green on the um, left hand side and on the side of the turret if you can make it out from the top I done it like green there and from the side if you can see that I do a bit blue. Um, I'll just take the that off so you can see um, there we go, there it is uh, there's the wheels um, I'm not, I'm still getting the hang of um, panel lines, I'm not brilliant at it, the same with um, 
dry brushing, I'm not too good at it. I find it better to do dry brushing before the uh, gloss is on because I don't, I find it makes it harder with the gloss on. But um, I've done the back there with the unditching log. First, I've done it with like just woody colours, but it looked too wood, too new wood of a colour. So I did a sludge wash of just like a black and brown on just on the log itself to make it look at like it's older and a bit dirty and stuff. Obviously it's going to have pigments on it eventually. Um, and obviously I've still got to put the um, all the lenders on. There's one in the shield, there's one on the light and there's two on the lights on the front of the glasses but yeah, there you go. Oh, and I've still got to paint the inside because there's a bit of interior detail that uh, you see from this open hatch. Um, I need some white for that to come to do that. Um, yeah, so that's that. Hope you like it. Hope you enjoyed this video and my reports on it are helpful for you, those who may want to do it. There you go. Um, any questions? Any comments? I'm uh, happy to be trying try and answer them. Um, as always, I'll see you again once it's finished, really. Um, happy modeling. Thanks, guys.